Qamar says that she works in Riyadh and there was an argument between her and some of her colleagues regarding whether their these snapshots shots or uh, pictures of the house of mother Aisha may Allah be pleased with her and whether the cup of the Prophet is authentically attributed to him and pieces of hair etc and they used to tell her that yeah but we believe that this is belonging to the Prophet and Allah knows best Wallahu alam. so if I understood her question She's saying, is it possible to say Allahu A'lam over something that you are doubtful of, like they're doing? Or is it permissible for me? I'm definitely sure that this is bogus. This is not real. So can I say this is not real and Allah knows best? Though I'm definitely sure of that, scholars say that this is part of being polite with Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah is definitely more knowledgeable than anyone else. So definitely Allah knows best. Even if I say this hadith is in Sahih al-Bukhari, where the Prophet says, alayhi salatu wasalam, innama al-a'malu bin niyat. And then I say, after narrating the hadith and mentioning the reference in Bukhari and Muslim, and I said, wallahu a'lam. I know for sure it is there. But saying Allahu A'lam is part of showing your poverty and humility to Allah Azza wa Jal by attributing knowledge only to the one who knows Subhanahu Azza wa Jal. Therefore, there is nothing wrong in that. As for the topic of discussion, this is a waste of time. One must not engage in such arguments that do not draw him closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. And Allah knows best.